Carl, with um, you know, basically your finals hopes on, on the line tonight, how disappointing a result and a performance is that? Extremely disappointing with the results. Obviously, I think in the first half there was not too much in the game other than us can't, not being able to defend two set pieces, two identical corners, two, uh, I think our player made the contact on the first header, which is in a good area, but we've got to be better. And the second goal scored from two yards out. So we can't defend like that. We've defended like that all season, to be honest, which is why we are in the position we're in. You know, second half then we're talking about trying to get back into the game and trying to generate things and we knew what they would do. They would sit back, get deep, but we thought we, if we can get crosses in, something might drop for us. It did, but we didn't take our chances. So at the end of the day, if you don't put... Sorry, God. No, you're okay. At the end of the day, if you don't put the ball in the back of the net and you can't defend crosses or, and can't keep the ball out of your net, you're not going to win games of football as we've seen. Is there a reason why you haven't been able to cure the, the defensive set-piece problem all season? Yes. <laughs> yeah. That reason is? <laughs> well, I probably can't tell you uh, on online. I know the issues that we have. I know the problems that we have, but I can't head it for them. You know, I wish I could. I wish I could organise for them. I wish I could actually put players in positions. I wish I could actually tell players to mark men. Um, but I can't. I, I try to, you know, the, the assistants do a great job in relation to putting the information down. But you've got to have a desire. You've got to have... It's got to hurt if your man scores off a corner. And I don't think we've got that. And that's, uh, that's what's missing. Is it fair to deem this season a failure, considering finals now seem nigh on impossible? How would you, how would you phrase it? Yeah, listen, that's probably the analogy that's going to be used. You know, there is a lot of things that I am uh, very happy with that have progressed this year. And I talk to you all the time about it, about the, the development of the young players. But, you know, if I'm sitting here saying that I'm not disappointed and I don't think that the group and me have failed, then I'm telling you a lie because our expectations were to get in the finals, you know. We haven't been in the finals for the last three years and that was our aim this year. We thought it was a great chance for us. And we showed at times we were able to do it, but we're not consistent enough. And that's something I've got to actually correct because if you're going to do that, you know, you're going to be up and down all the time and you're not going to get to where you want to get to and... We're not there. Do you start thinking now about next season over the final two games and starting to make changes on the field and off the field in preparation for that? Yes, I've been thinking about that for a while because you have to be proactive in this game. You know, you have to sort of dig deep as well and you have to look within. And that's what I've done. That's why all these young players are playing. And sometimes you've got to make hard decisions because, yet we want to be a club that focuses on player development. We want to be a club that focuses on team development. And we are. But we've also got to want to be a club that wins and we've not won, you know, and that's a disappointment for us as a football club and our supporters because, you know, everyone will say it, they deserve to win, but we do. Um, but it's got to start somewhere. And behind the scenes, there's a lot of work that's gone on, but that doesn't, people don't want to hear that. They want to win now. Uh, unfortunately, we've not done that. So we'll have to um, accept that, accept where we failed, analyse it, review it and make decisions and move on. 24 scoring shots to eight tonight. Um, apart from defence, a common problem not being able to find the back of the net. <laughs> uh, what's the solution? You've got a couple of young rookies in the MPL. Ali Oldway scored 11 goals this year, Warren so on. Um, where are they at? And are you planning on bringing them in in the final two games of the season? Yeah, it, listen, if, if the, the two young kids, not just them two, we've got Ali Lapane, we've got a number, Jared Carluccio, we've got a number of players in the MPL that have done very, very well this year, you know, but we also know that the, the MPL is different to the A-League, um, but there is opportunities going to be had for these young players. You've seen three have played for the majority of this season that probably didn't even play in the MPL last year. That's how far they progressed. So I will have a look at them, um, whether it'll be on the weekend or whether it'll be on Thursday. But listen, I, I don't care about reputations. I have to say, I don't care about big names. I don't care about players that have been at the club for a while. You've got to deserve to play. Uh, and if you don't deserve to play, you won't play. And I've done that from day one, and I'll say it again. You know, age doesn't bother me. You know, so they will, kids will get given a chance here. Um, on a positive note, Athelina and Nutter have been fantastic this season. Uh, very, very good tonight. Um, in tough um, circumstances. How happy with their progression? Delighted. Delighted. I think they've been exceptional this year and they've nearly played 20-odd games, each of them. 
you know, and that's a positive. Yep, it's disappointing, but, you know, week in, week out, we're talking about these two young guys arguably being the most consistent players. You know, young players go up and down. You know, it's the senior players that you want to be consistent, and unfortunately, we've not had enough of them. One more. Um, you've been pretty calm throughout the season. You've been yeah. very impressive. Um, tonight at half-time, first half-time, you were a bit agitated with um, the defending. Um, is it finally, the pressure finally sort of getting to you a little bit, or are you still sort of um, relatively calm? No, nah, listen, I think you can see in my demeanour now, I'm very calm, uh, you know, but when I've got to get angry, I will get angry. At half time, I said to them, you can't defend like that. That is that is very amateur, you know, that's schoolboy stuff. You don't do that. It's got, to get, you, it's got to hurt you. And if it doesn't hurt you, then we've got a problem and I've got to find the find the, the root of the problem and I've got to deal with that problem because that's not acceptable. That, that was embarrassing defending.